What's up, guys? This is Rokobo on the mic. <laughs> Rokobo in the mic? There you go. That does not sound What's like up, guys? What's this up? is Cory in the house. <laughs> and today I'm bringing you, uh. Oh, shit. The, everything I said in that sentence was true. Yeah, is it? Cory is in the house. Either way, we've also got, uh, QSD here commentating. We've got, along. um. We've got three scenes. We have TV, BRB, and Melee. Yeah, I'm a BRB. Yeah, they were going with a rhyming theme, but then they just gave up on Melee, and then the author <laughs> killed they? himself out of shame. He went into Mike's right, bathroom and, and hung himself. Alright, so we're going dreams. game one, Fountain of Dreams. Rambler going Puff. We haven't seen this, uh, ever, actually. This is his first time playing Puff in any official capacity ever. Hold on a second. Uh, and, oh, fuck, I still have indigestion. How? No. <laughs> Either way, um, the date of this match is December 17th, 2016. 1945. Um, uh, we were at war with Japan. They just bombed wow. Pearl Harbor ten days ago. It was tragedy. <laughs> Great first uh, stop. So I say, death to wow. the slants. You Did know? you see that rollout kill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at 75%. Uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, and then, uh, oh, here he goes. He's gonna torpedo the USS Indianapolis. And Oh, there it goes. Oh, shit. Battle of Midway here. Oh, and he that takes over great Guadalcanal. Dodge, actually. And oh, uh oh, the land of the rising sun is coming back, but uh, but Piran has none of it, and the fucking uh, Pirin. uh land of the rising sun nukes Hiroshima. How sad for them. Um, uh, who do you think's gonna win? Who? What's this matchup like? Uh, well, see, unfortunately, uh, land of the rising sun, although they have all the honor and all the fucking like tech that they need, uh. Fucking little douchebag USA Puff over here has two nukes at any time that he can just use to fucking annihilate him. This is quite the commentary. Yeah. Uh, so here goes number one. Here goes Hiroshima. No. Um. Wait, fuck. There's Hiroshima, then Nagasaki, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, considering Math Martha's Japanese. Yeah. No shit. That's the analogy I'm making here, Cole. It's Land of the Rising Sun because he's playing Red Marth and he speaks Japanese, and it's ten days after Pearl Harbor. Do you get the fucking analogy now, Cole? It was clever until you ruined it. Jesus. Now I'm dropping it. I'm gonna go get another fucking water. Cool, I can, I can get in here with the cringy chat. Either way, that was a bunch of cringe. I'm sorry for anyone who had to endure through that. Looks like we're wrapping up game one here. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What do you ask? Oh. And Mike, unfortunately, has to take his own life on screen, on stream for everybody to watch now. The stakes of these matches are very high. Right. We take our melee very seriously here. Don't we all? Oh. He's deciding to go Fury Lord 6000. Uh, a controversial pick after he was banned in all European versions of the game. And also controversial pick because uh, he can take 29% off of nothing. Alright. Did he rest through... What was that? Did he rest four times in a row and he got the kill? You know, sometimes you just kind of have to that say- that was the most rambler thing I think I've ever seen. That literally was the definition. Sometimes you just have to say fuck it. Shocked. No works. I literally can't- I don't know what to say. That was the most emphatic thing- Well then you're a horrible fucking commentator. Like the entire point of your job is to say things. What do you mean? Alright, never mind, Cole. Uh, so he decides to back throw, uh, I guess? I mean, I get, uh, he got the up throw, uh, up, up fuck off of it, so I guess uh, it works fuck. out. Uh, and Puff decides double jab into rollout, into getting down smashed, into ledge grab, into get up attack, into sleep rollout, into death. Into, into double death. Alright, and the friendly gentleman <laughs> handshake. I like it. There is no love lost here, even though there is blood on the ground. I'll tell you what, Michael is making a great performance. He definitely came in as the underdog of this match, but uh, he's keeping up both games. I personally have my money on Donald McDonald here. Uh, I don't know if you've seen, but he has, like, the Super Saiyan combos, where he shoots 48 lasers at the same time. True. But Michael has rollout. Michael does have rollout. Each one of the lasers, by the way, does 80%. Uh, 
Uh, and if you get hit by a single one of them, it also has the knockback of the stopping punch. Almost. He wanted it. You could tell what he uh, was going Donald for. Donald McRonald only keeps that on the down low because he thinks it would be cheating if he used that every time. Because the tech is exclusive to him. Uh, so that's why he decides to forward air off the stage and... Uh, uh, Mike does the thing, the controversial thing, and doesn't immediately rest him after he firefoxes on stage. Uh, Mike dropping his normal shit here. Uh, it's probably a little bit stunning to him. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but he just got 2 0'd by some fucking awful player. <gasps> yes! Four. That was great. And Good job. Two. All around. That was a great rest. He's sleeping on him. Oh, I'll be shit. honest, Fionn, you've said. 3,000 words in the last minute. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. I am a professional commentator, man. The whole point of this is you have to roll with the punches. You have to keep going. Uh, you're not only throwing punches, you're knocking out the house. I am. Uh, I've backed away from you multiple times because you're freaking me out. See, unfortunately, uh, I have the reputation uh, of a commentator now, but I never actually talk about the match, so if I want to talk about the match, I can't, because it's like... Yeah, I don't know, dude. It's pretty cringy at times, I'm not gonna lie. Everybody knows me as, like, the guy that just doesn't talk about the match, so, like... I, I feel like my commentary wouldn't be the same if I talked about the match, you know? Honestly, your commentary would be perfect for, like, Smash at the Brewery or something. What's that called? Get Smashed at the Foundry. Where they have... No, my commentating would be perfect anyway. I can do serious commentary. I'm just not gonna do it, because it's fucking mic funny. Yeah, why would you? See, uh, I, I can do serious commentary for everybody except Mike and Henry. I feel obligated for those two to, like, fuck with them as much as possible while they're playing. And I, I get the, uh, the bonus of also getting to fuck with Dawn while doing this. Uh, because, you know, who doesn't love fucking dumb? <laughs> I know many people, including myself, that would not want to fuck dumb. You're just a fucking stick in the mud, aren't you? Fun fact I learned, uh, last Friday, actually, Don, Donald Burton, Donald, what's your middle name? <laughs> Donald, I'm not telling you Burton, uh, knew my brother in high school. My brother, wow. however, uh, that was, was a cool. fucking, uh, he was a dick in high school. I actually didn't know up tilt arrest was a thing, if I'm honest. Did you not? No, I really didn't. Man, you're fucking trash in melee. No, Puff has, like, anything into rest, honestly. Like, most hits, uh, if you're a, a good enough, a good enough and vigilant enough, Puff can connect into rest. Like, hungry backs. Like, hangry backs. Like, like you, you'll see him pull shit, like, back wow. air into rest, some back throw, back air into rest somehow. Uh, yeah, also, Michael is looking, looking hot. Tournament really stock for Dawn. Uh, he doesn't no, know this. Sucks. He doesn't know this, but this is actually losers. If he loses here, he not only goes into losers, but he disqualifies from losers, oh, and then that? he's disqualified from the house. He has to leave. Forever. He's never welcome back. I gotta admit, I think we gotta kick Furon off the commentating spot. In future events. Alright, tilting the mic towards me so that you can't hear Cole anymore. At least my commentary would be about the match, which is what we're commenting And hey, my commentary over. was about the match for, like, a little bit there. Yeah. I, I mentioned that it was three stock to one, and that, like, uh, and that that was gonna happen. And I mentioned the- I, I gave some helpful tips about Puff's rest. I'll just- I'll say this. When Xanadu needs a new commentator, they'll call me before you. Oh, no, they won't. Because I, I can- I can do fucking great. If this, uh- Wait, no, this is game three. Fuck. I was gonna say if this goes to game three, I'll take the <laughs> next one seriously, but- yeah, no, We'll see what happens. It's cool. You know what, I'll commentate the last one. I'll, I'll, I'll add for even, like, maximum clutchness. Well, he gets the F-tilt. He's on the ropes, but he's got plenty of jumps. It's hard to give a puff. Puff comes back, he goes... It's hard to give fishes. a puff. It's hard to give a puff. Uh, he fishes for that forward smash. Ooh, and counter. And he's lucky that Mike is willing to do some unsafe options, like roll out. Uh, I don't know, but at this percent... It is very possible the the Marth is one rest away from losing. You always have to remember that. He's one up throw away from this being his winner's bracket stock. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but this Puff at the same time is one stray forward smash away. At, at this rate, probably a, a forward air would take it. Oh, oh he's going for, for the, the rollout. dirty rollout? Going for the rollout. Dawn is a smart player, though, wow. and he gets that tipper shield breaker. 
That's gonna put Michael. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna put Michael I like cock Hinman in losers bracket. <laughs> Wow. No, good stuff to Michael all around, though. He really, he's really been pushing his jiggly puff lately. I'm proud yes, of him. with all the fucking rollouts. 